my name is Ella Sorrell and today I'm going to run you very quickly through the Renderless AEF workflow for Baselight. Now it does require the Baselight for Avid plugin and as the title suggests, at no point during this workflow will we be rendering media, just metadata. This cuts out a whole lot of time and space that traditional rendering workflows require. Additionally, once your grades are back in Avid to be online, they appear as editable effects rather than being burnt into the media. This is a major time saver as it allows great adjustments to be made in Avid rather than having to go back to Baselight for each little change. So let's start up in Form, open up your scene and your EDL import window, it's Windows E, locate to your AF uh, provided by Editorial, make sure that you are directing to where your media lives. Since it's coming from Avid, we're going to have our search order, our frame number, match events by Avid UID. Strip naming, I like it to be clip name. Dissolves come in native, and I would like my image and frame flex transforms to come through and my variable timing. With my image and frame flex, I always set these to layer 99. That means when you start grading that the grades appear above uh, the transforms. And I also categorize these as resize or editorial so that when it gets to the end of the workflow, we can easily strip these off without having to manually go through and find them ourselves. So start conform. Wonderful. I'm going to do a quick tidy up here. Since Avid sees things top down, but Baselight reads things bottom up, sometimes you just need to swap things around a little bit. Here you would then do your sync check to make sure that your timeline matches your offline reference. And then the fun part, grading. So I pre-graded this show earlier, so I'm going to multi-paste these across. That's Windows M to get your multi-paste options up and to do it by rec time code. You can see these have appeared below. So that looks pretty right to me and comparing it to our grade timeline, yes, that looks correct. Once you're happy with your graded timeline, make a copy before you render. Then we're going to go to Shots View, a little cog drop down, Export EDL, Export Format, Update, Avid AF with Base Light Grades. Our input file name needs to direct us to our original AF provided by Editorial. And our output file name is where our modified AF will go. And you can change the name in here. So we want to remove our Avid color correction and color adapters. And we want to remove strips of category, resize and editorial. The reason this is really important is since we're modifying the AF rather than exporting it out, the AF already has the resize uh, and frame flex information in there. And if we don't remove them from our grades, they'll double up when they go back to online. So we want to set our input color space, our viewing color space, and our true light profile. And we want our video LUT to match whichever settings we were grading in. So for me, my SGI output was full to legal, so I'm going to match that. And I do not want to lock the grade. This should only take a minute. Um, I have put an error in here so that we can troubleshoot what to do uh, when things go wrong. So could not write grade of shot starting at frame 35709. So we're going to go to that frame, 35709, zoom in. So you can see here the strip is longer than the grade strips. There's two grade strips below. So we need all of our grade strips to match the length of the strip. So for this one, we can simply patch it together. If you have two different grades intentionally, uh, the best way to get around this is to keyframe your grades instead. Now if we go back in here, we should have no issues at all exporting that out. If you can't isolate what the issue is, uh, my suggestion would be to create a new timeline, reconform, multi-paste your grades over and re-export out as we've done in this video. As we're modifying the AF rather than creating a new one, even the slight movement of one shot moving one frame by accident could cause render issues. So to be safe, if you're unsure, reconform. Lovely. Well, I really hope that that has helped everyone watching and well, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.